Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immersed Robot. So I'm just uh, making this video just to give you a quick update really. I'm currently without my Valve Index headset. I've had to send it back to Valve. And the reason is a few months ago I noticed some dead pixels on the left display and also a little bit of dust as well under the uh, between the lenses and the display it looked like. Anyway, I wasn't entirely certain of that, but that's what it looked like. And also the IPD slider on the Valve Index, it's got very loose and uh, you might have even noticed it in some of the videos that I do occasionally the IPD numbers will pop up on the display just from moving my head too quickly and um, so it's a bit of an issue and it's just got worse and worse over these past few months and I did actually contact Valve sort of probably about six months ago now something like that um, just to see if they were able to replace the headset or what I should do to get it repaired and they said that they were going to send me another one out but as it turns out I didn't actually want to be without a headset for a period of time so I decided just to live with it and it wasn't like a huge deal or anything like that there was just a, a couple of dead pixels maybe a tiny bit of dust and then this IPD slider issue but over the past few weeks I've noticed it getting worse and worse the IPD slider issue um, especially so I've contacted Steam support again and Valve have asked me to return the Valve Index and they will send me a replacement uh, headset it won't be a new one it will be a refurbished one but I think I'm going to take that now. I've been doing a little bit of research on the refurbished headsets that people have been getting when they get these from Valve after uh, requesting a replacement, and it's a bit of a mixed bag, really. I don't know what to expect. I, I just hope it's you know it's better than the one I'm sending back because I really looked after that headset, and apart from these few small issues, it was a great headset for me. So I'm hoping it will be. Um, it won't have the issues that I've sent this one back for, and it will just be you know comparable in, in quality i don't know what they do to actually refurbish them how much work goes into that or anything like that so hopefully the headset will be okay when i get it anyway um but that's part of the reason that i've not been doing too many videos lately but also there's just not too much in the news that i wanted to talk about one of the things actually i wanted to uh, make a video on is the similar vr headset which is like a uh, a very high spec x86 based standalone vr headset which is not really used for gaming or anything like that or is a oculus quest competitor it's more of a productivity device and they see it they're almost marketing it as a a laptop for your head that will have give you various displays and be you know very high spec very high resolution and i am interested in looking at that a little bit more actually but um it's one of the things i was considering making a video on but i haven't actually got around to it at the moment but it's something i'll definitely be keeping my eye on anyway other than that i am also sort of tinkering around with unity yet again I don't, i've done this at various times in the past where i've tried to um delve into unity and i've sort of got a few things working some basic game mechanics and things like that i do feel like i'm sort of breaking through a bit of a wall at the moment and i don't know if it will progress to actually making some kind of content or anything like that that will ever be released but it's interesting just to go through unity and develop a few skills from that point of view so i'm following a lot of tutorials um it's difficult actually at the moment because the XR Interaction Toolkit has had a major update in Unity and there's not too many tutorials on YouTube which actually dive in and actually give you perfect guidance on how to use this new revision of the XR Interaction Toolkit within Unity. So I'm sort of working my way through, still following a few tutorials, trying to uh, guide my way through into making some VR content anyway. But honestly, at the moment, really, it's very basic. I've got myself um, sort of moving around free locomotion shooting a gun picking it up and um, you know it snaps into the right position and all these other things so I'm basically just following these tutorials but also I think I've made a little bit of headway in learning some of the coding that goes into that as well um, so yeah I'm just going to stick with that for a little bit more but it's more of a side thing that I'm doing at the moment I don't have any serious plans to make any VR content or anything like that but um, it's interesting to learn all this stuff and just to get some kind of perspective on how games are made and sort of the difficulties that go into making content for VR and it can be quite a long-winded and frustrating process at various times but it's interesting nevertheless so I'm doing a little bit of that um, VR development within Unity on my Quest 2 
and uh, yeah so that's really what, what has been holding my attention so it's why I've not done a video for over a week now um, but I'll, I'll get back to it and it, things just might be slow for a while while I wait for my valve index to come back to me so uh, that's just a quick update from me thank you very much for watching this video and I'll probably post another video at some point next week anyway and hopefully there'll be something interesting in the news to talk about but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time